grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. I was involved in music in some way for recreational purposes. It was just a fun thing to do. I was in choir and chorus and, and did music in school. I came to New York City to go to Columbia University, assuming that I was leaving country music and Nashville and the South behind me. What I found when I came to Columbia was that there was a really lovely country music audience in New York City. I never really thought of music as a proper career or something that I would do full time as an adult until I was really out of college. I had done some performing in college, coffee house type of things on campus and found that I really loved to perform and that I wanted to get better at it. I still didn't know at that time that I might try to do it professionally, but I wanted to take the next steps, whatever they might be, to be a better performer, to be a better musician and to really immerse myself in that as a avocation of some kind. My new album is called Humming by the Flowered Vine. It's a lyric from one of my songs. I just thought that the lyric itself was maybe evocative and might be useful as a title. The idea of humming by the flowered vine, it's sort of vague. My songs tend to have a series of images in them that mean something specific to me. At the same time, I don't want people to necessarily know explicitly what I'm talking about because I want them to have a chance to mean something for the listener that might have nothing to do with the specifics of why I started writing the song. I'm very proud of how far I've come, and I do realize that I've had a lot of great opportunities. I've been able to do things like play on the Grand Ole Opry, go on tour with Elvis Costello. I never really envisioned that I'd be able to do this for a living or try to do it for a living. And so I feel very lucky that I get to, to continue making music and that people continue discovering it and listening to it. It's, it's a wonderful, gratifying feeling to know that I can do that.